Hello guys and welcome to a let's play of The Lion's Story. Now we are following a girl named Wilma on her journey to write a new piece of music and hopefully we should be able to make an amazing piece of music by the end of this game. But we are currently at Milk Train... Maybe I said that wrong. Uh, milk... Milk... Milk Train Station. Do you have enough socks? You need plenty of socks, it's very cold there. Mama, you pat the suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. Uh, all aboard, all aboard for Vienna. I'm gonna look over there sometimes because my face is in the rain. Uh, you will write to your mother, won't you? Every damn papa, I promise. You're such a liar, but I love you anyway. I'm not lying. <laughs> Don't call me a liar. All aboard, last call for Vienna. Mama, let the boy go. He will get into trouble if he's late. My dear boy, take care. Take care. Uh, yes, Mama and Papa, you take care too. Take care. Wilma first left them on this very train. Now me. There's Wilma, Vienna, Masikakademi. Masikaka Demi. <laughs> Maybe I'm saying that wrong. I don't know. Arthur's oh, desk. His desk. How much music has he written here? Myself. Arthur, where are you? You asked me to come by your office. Here I am. Waiting. Maybe at last you want to talk about us. But you're so shy, Arthur. You don't know how to begin. Oh, don't be silly, Wilma. You just keep hoping it will happen, but it never will. What will happen? I'm glad you're here. Why? I just had to see you. Sorry I'm late. Uh, where have you been? I haven't been waiting long. Where do you want to, s why do you want to see me? Why do you want to see me, Professor? Please, call me Arthur. Why did you want to see me? Well, to be quite honest, yes. Wilma? Your performance at the Salon. It was quite incredible. The guests could not believe their ears. I'm so glad. I want to hear more from you, Wilma. Uh, we need to keep up the momentum. How's your new composition coming along? Uh, it's more difficult than the others. Uh, you have your ups and downs. Your music is so... New! <laughs> it entices. It challenges. I think... No, I know we're about to achieve something great here. Are we? The future of music. Arthur, I'm... You must build on the success of your performance. Is, if we stop now, we'll squander this opportunity. We have to keep moving. Keep working. Oh, don't do that movement. Um, we have to establish your name. <laughs> I'm... Well, I'm... That is... What is it? I'm started... I've started composing it, but... But... Oh, Arthur, I'm stuck. I'm horribly, horribly stuck. I don't know how to complete it. Well, my don't say that. We've come so far. Everything we've worked for. <laughs> I can't bear to let down. Oh, don't do that movement. Stop doing it. Uh, I know I know what's wrong. Here, I'll put the hand there. It's the pressure from the Institute. Everyone clamouring on for your attention. Recognising you on the street. And, oh, and even more <laughs> pressure from me. <laughs> Vienna is a city, we can't change that. No, it's not you, Arthur. You said it yourself, it's momentum. No, Vienna is a city. We can't change that. You need to change, that's clear. Listen, I have a cabin in the mountains. You'll be able to work there. Uh, no, you've already done too much for me, Professor. Nonsense. You're teaching. Guiding me. You're helping me with the scholarship. The more things that I want to happen. <laughs> you need time alone. Be quiet. Yes, quiet. I'll take care of things here. Either I can't. I'm not asking. It's settled. 
A carriage will pick you up tomorrow. There are plenty of supplies in the cabin. Thank you, Arthur. Hmm, I like this one. Mine. Oh, pack lightly. You're not bringing your old violin, are you? Of course I am. Playing the old violin relaxes me. You'll have to walk the last part of the way. It's quite a hike. I manage. Very well. I do think this is for the best. You will be completely alone. No distractions. I wish I could go through that. That would be nice. Somewhere in the Alps. Almost there. Just a bit further. Just a few more steps. What else is there? Telephone poles. Whew. There she goes. I have finally arrived. That's it. Arthur's cabin. Oh, Arthur. I hope so much that you're right. I've got a hair in my mouth. An inspiration is waiting for me down there. Well, it's actually up there because it's uphill, but okay. That must be the cabin at last. Hopefully inspiration waits for me down there. The path leads up here from Arthur's cabin. And dark clouds hang over the mountains. Ooh. It's the thunder. Oh. My chair is squeaky. Almost as if they're waiting for something. The wind is growing stronger. It won't be long until the storm's here. I'd better hurry. I'll go to the cabin. Looks like a storm's brewing. I might just make it before the rain. I oh, know. Don't just stand there. Ooh, music. A little bit of violin. The lion's song. I said the lion's story before, did I? I oh, know, I can't remember. Episode 1. Silence. And if you want to see more of this uh, video, this game, um, leave a like and subscribe. And I might buy the second, third and fourth series of these if you enjoy this kind of uh, game where we make some music. I made it just before the rain. Why does all the running have to be where my face is? <laughs> Hopefully it will stop soon. The walk up here was exhausting. <laughs> Whew. All right, Wilma. Time to unpack your bag. Let's look at it outside. It has started to rain. How long will this storm continue? Locked. Aww. A poetry book. There are several poems in it. Wilkie, Hoffman, Stahl, and a few other authors. Let's see. Ah, here it is. The Panther. I will read it later. Mathematics. Despite its similarity to music, I barely understand it. Tonal Diversity by Professor Arthur Caben. I didn't know he had written a book. Letters. Pile of letters addressed to Arthur. I sh should I read them? Read. Congratulations! <laughs> I would like to congratulate you. I had the honour to listen to a minor concert by your student Wilma Dorf. Dorfel in the salon recently. Many in the audience seemed bewildered at first. Whom, excuse my expression, you've, uh, you'd have in tow. Read on. There have been so many child prodigies, but this was different. As your young composer played music, I couldn't quite believe my ears. But soon the strength of our music became clear to all. But at the same time, enlightenment, as did mine. Let's read a little bit more. My heartiest congratulations. You must be very proud. You have transformed this rough diamond into a beautiful gem. I'll be eager to hear her next composition. Until then, be so kind to send your best regards to your young artist. Your friend, Gustav. Uh, let's read admiration. Professor Caben, I hope you recall the stimulating discussion we had in recently in the salon. My name is Grete Lonikzak. <laughs> and I'm a frequent visitor there. Some mistake me for a critic or not. But I'd like to do, I would describe myself rather as an intermediary. 
I said that. Probably wrong. I unite, unite, <laughs> I unite creative minds, promote the exchange of ideas in this culturally exhilarating time. Read on. Like many, I'm a great admirer of your early work. I have been following your initiatives regarding modern music, and your young student who has performed for us today is a most promising talent. I hoped we could continue our discussions at your convenience, of course. Yours in anticipation, Greta Lonikzak, and a painter. Let's read the last one. Dear Arthur, I'm writing to you in the knowledge that you, like me, uh, like me, sorry, you are a great admirer of every kind of art. Sadly, I know that I know you missed a recent exhibition in the salon. The artist, the artist was a young man, na man named Franz Marker, Mar Mark Ert, not Market, Mark Ert, <laughs> Mark Ert. What's your name? My name's Mark Ert. Market, no Mark Ert. His paintings are very special. Portraits like no, uh, portraits, but none like you will ever have seen. They somehow capture every facet of a person. When I see, when I saw them, I immediately thought of you. Luckily, I managed to acquire one or two of his artworks. I'd like to, I'd like you to see them and tell me your opinion. To be honest, they reminded me of the new music you were pursuing. And they are erotic in the very special way, male and female both. Okay. I'd be very interested to know what you think of them. Your friend, RM. There are no sketches here. They must be in Vienna. We don't need to read anymore. Maybe I'll read more later. Well, we already read, written, read all three. My old violin. Oh, violin, no. Despite its battered appearance, it still has the most beautiful tone. The lamp casts a dim light. The flame dances quietly to and fro. And flares up briefly before subsiding. Mm, interesting. Myself. I am exhausted. There should be something to eat in my bag. What about the telephone? I should unpack first. Oh, I want to call someone. I'm starving. There should be a sandwich in here somewhere. Music paper. Ah, here it is. Oh, and a letter. Who is it from? It says, Open upon arrival, my dear Wilma. I hope you had a troubleable through journey. I, I'm sure you have started writing already. Inspired by the beautiful surroundings. Read on. I have no choice anyway in the matter. However, I have a confession to make. Perhaps he has written something about us. Before your departure, I started to organise a concert at the Musky mu Music Music Varian in Vienna, I was able to convince a few illustration colleagues to offer their works. She's smiling, but I had to call in favours. But Mr. Schron Schronberg, Mr. Berg, and Mr. Mahler, Mahler have all agreed to participate. It'll be a glorious evening. Your composition will be the centerpiece. The grand finale. Wilma, imagine it. I'm imagining it. I understand that this is all very abrupt. And that for that I apologise. But now is your time. <laughs> the musicians start rehearsal next week. The piece must be ready then. In anticipation of your return. Arthur. A concert? One week? How is this less pressure? Arthur, how could you? The storm is almost here. How am I supposed to write something if I can't go outside? I am trapped here, with a storm outside, and, really th and within me silence. Eat your sandwich. I've lost my appetite. Oh. I don't have a reason to make a telephone call, and yet it rings. Hello? Je Tam Nick Nickdo. Excuse me? Oh, German. Yes. Uh, with whom do you wish to speak? Are you sure you have the right name? Who is this? I, um, well, my name is Leos. 
Are you still there? Yes. Amazing. I wonder if... Are you close by? Where are you? Uh, I'm in the Alps. The mountains? Yes, those Alps. <laughs> I never would have dreamed of this. I was told you can speak over long distances. But to actually hear a voice? It's amazing. I can now finally talk to my niece, Nicole. Stomach rumble. What was that? What was what? That noise just now. How embarrassing. I hear that noise every day. And my guests come to me with empty bellies. Are you an innkeeper? Leos. I am. Best dumplings in all of Bohemia. Wonderful when they are fresh out of the pot. With a rich, hearty sauce. <laughs> when you cut into one and the steam comes out. Sounds like you were your own best customer. You're right, but I'm the cook. I have to taste them. <laughs> That's true. Never trust a chef that doesn't taste their own food. I wish I had some here right now. Of course you wish that. Ho, ho, ho. I apologise. Sounds like you were very hungry. It was a pleasure talking to you, madame. Uh, huh. I'm very sorry. Where are my manners? I didn't even ask your name. It's Wilma. Wilma? Wilma? <laughs> it was a pleasure to speaking with you. Say, do you think we could talk again sometime soon? Uh, gave me a number. 1255. Maybe. I hope so. Thank you for your call. Goodbye, Wilma. Okay. Time for my sandwich. She's happy now. Munch, munch, munch. May not be a dumpling, but it tastes delicious. Beautiful. It's annoying that the writing's out of the way. You're just going to have to trust what I say is, is what is read. <laughs> I'm so tired. It was just too much for my first day. Yep. How anyone does what everyone does when they're at school. Line. Outside, behind the buildings, the sun is shining. Beside Wilma, someone stirs. <gasps> it's Arthur! Let's press the duvet. So soft. I would love a soft duvet. Ah. Anything else I can click? A bottle? How much should we drink? I don't feel drunk. This can't be mine. I could never afford them. Uh, hum. Wilma? Hey, are you awake? No. <laughs> are you awake? No, I'm not. I'm still sleeping. How did we get here? I was just... I have to leave. Come on. Just stay a little longer with me. I really have to go. I'm expected at the Institute. But it's your Institute, yes. Yes, and you are my student. Ooh, is it a bit creepy? Uh, we should not be together in the first place. So yes, you're exactly right. You shouldn't. Is that what we are? Together? Six o'clock. I'm already late. What could be so urgent? I'm getting... Uh, today I'm getting Schoenberg's <laughs> contribution. I have to be there. It'll be marvellous. Arthur, we should talk. Oh! Imagine the look on the faces when your song is played. She's who's hurting me. What are you doing? Imagine where you could be in a year. Stop, you're hurting me. The future of music. No! Help! Arthur, no! <laughs> no! Oh, she's up. Day two. It's still stormy. God. I just wanted to have some bells chiming in the distance. It was just a dream. Just a dream. Arthur was finally with you, but... I want... No. I have to write this composition. But how to start? 
Wilma, concentrate. You've done this before. Anything could be inspiration. Play a melody. Go on. This might be good. A melody. Of course. I will just play. The music repeats itself. Ah, oh, beautiful. That sounds amazing. Oh, I love it. You guys love it? Still got a lot of work to do, but... There we go. I love music, so this... Perfect. Motifs, melodies and rhythms, which Wilma have played many times before. Never really surprising. Almost boring. Continue playing. The tones seem to linger a little longer after. Look! A reminder of all the other times she's played. Never written harmonies. Maybe their time is now. Hmm. Wilma writes the harmony down. Earthquake! What was that? I can hear melodies in this din. There are several noises. I can't. A mighty booming and blood curling squealing. A relentless creaking. Where do they come from? The wind rattles the cabin. The beam creaks. The fibres in the wood bend and snap. Oh, I hate those noises. I don't know, I can be trying to sleep. The night blurs. The noise blurs, so it fades away. Locked. I can't hear melodies in this dim. There's several noises. I can't. Mighty booming. Oh, no, I've already done that. The lamp. The lamp. The wind shaking the cabin makes it sway. Squilling noise gets under our skin. It's back again. It's always audible, even when it isn't. I can block it out. I know I can. The noise slowly fades, blurs, dissolves, and is gone. For a split second, the melody can be heard, but it vanishes instantly. Dang it! I've oh, had some music sheets. I still have enough paper. But soon it'll all be used up. Oh. Bed outside, and the valley storm rages with all the sound of wind pounding rain. How can I concentrate? Perhaps I can block out the noise of the storm. What if we go outside? Look at that. The storm booms overhead. The rain and the wind are so loud. I'm glad I don't have to be out here. Right there. See, this is beautiful. I'd love to live in a place like this. Thick forest. It's a wonder I didn't get lost. You can't tell from me where the lines go. The mountains loom high above me. The inner is somewhere beyond those mountains. Home is even further. Each drop of water falls so far above, forming quietly the droplet rushes downwards, falling to last on it, falling at last on it, thundering on leaves, grasses, stones, from there to my ears. The sound blurs and fades away, and suddenly it's quieter. Doesn't look like the storm will be over any time soon. Flowers! Key flowers! Why did you leave them here on the porch? Something shimmers between the trees. Have looked very closely to see it. But you can tell that it is there. Melody is hidden between the layers of melody. That's beautiful. Some nice wood woodwinds. The mountains loom high above me. Oh no, I've already, already done that. A pulse. A swath. Strange. Why does he leave flowers here? Think for oh no, so we're already there. Uh, I think we've done everything. Oh no, that's still the sky. Okay, inside we go. We've heard a little bit of a melody. I think we can uh, write a little bit more now. Finally, I can start writing. Oh no, the phone rings. No, I'm going to answer it. Hello, Wilma. And to me, Leos. Oh, I love talking to Leos already. 
Do you remember me, yes? Yes, of course. Why are you calling? I, well, to be honest, I wanted to hear your voice again. Last time we talked about my, about me, my niece, and about my dumplings. But I never asked about you. That was rude of me. You wanted to hear my voice? Why? Yes, it feels good to hear your voice. Reminds me of, of someone. Your niece? Nicole, yes. Some years ago, my sister and her husband asked me to look after her. They travel much of the year. But they do not believe she is strong enough to join them. Well, I tried to look after her, but... Where is she now? What happened? I just couldn't manage. I mean, I love her. We are... We were very close. But running me in and taking care of her, I couldn't do both at the same time. So I sent her back to her parents in Vienna. I think things are better this way. Uh, is it better for her? Do you miss Nicole? Who looks after Nicole while her parents travel? She lives in Vienna now. Do you miss Nicole? Yes. She's like a daughter to me. Who, look, uh, who looks after Nicole when her parents travel? Oh, right. A governess, I think. A certain Frau Schmoll. <laughs> She's very Schmoll. I don't know her. Is it better for her? I'm not sure. I think so, yes. Why don't you call Nicole? I want to. That's the very reason why I got this machine. And then, well, you picked up. But I'm not completely sure it's a good idea. You should do it. You think so? If you don't, you might regret it. I, every hour, minute, second that passes, keeping your feelings for someone you love is something you may regret later. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I can. Make it up to her somehow. But enough about me. What about you? Do you have any family? What is your profession? My profession? Student, if you can call student a profession. I write music. Like a composer. Well, yes, I study composition. Any songs I would know? Not really, no. I've just started to make my name in Vienna. What are you doing in the mountains? Trying to find my muse. She's hiding from me. She's hiding in the mountains? She's be she's hiding somewhere. Perhaps outside in the storm. Muses can be elusive. For a moment she hears a melody. Wait, what was that? What? I thought I could hear something. You heard something? Just now? I did. What did you hear? A melody. I don't understand. Can you do that again? Do what? Keep talking. Fine. I am talking to you, Wilma. I will try my I'll try to keep going, but I don't know what to talk about, so should I perhaps tell you about my dumplings again? I told you something about me. My profession. Yes, you are a musician. There it is again! It's back! Yes, that's it! What? I can hear a melody. Well, quick, write it down. Goodbye. Right. The note disappears. I nearly had it. You need to give the melody some time. It's quiet, and suddenly she hears the sound of his voice again. Playful melody. There it is! Thank you, Leos. I can barely keep my eyes open. Oh, it's beautiful music. Oh, I love it. And we are dead. No, we're not. We're just sleeping. Well, we are obviously having a nightmare, but I'm going to leave it at that for this video. May as well split it up into two episodes. You've heard a little bit about the music so far. And I hope you guys are enjoying it, particularly the music, because I love music. So, games and music make me so excited. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. 
And if you want to see more of this, well don't you worry know, because I'm going to be recording more of it because I want to play this game anyway. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!